Anterior pelvic exenteration is a rare procedure in female patients with colorectal cancer in comparison with gynecological or urological malignancy. We herein describe our experience with laparoscopic anterior pelvic exenteration for sigmoid colon cancer in a 57-year-old woman. Colonoscopy showed a circumferential tumor of the sigmoid colon, the endoscope being unable to pass through the constriction. Magnetic resonance imaging showed the tumor massively invading the trigone of bladder and uterus. There were no distant metastases on computed tomography. Because the inferior margin of the tumor was very close to the neck of the bladder, the function of the neobladder was considered to be poor. Therefore, we planned anterior pelvic exenteration through the ileal conduit. Five ports were placed with a 12 millimeter camera port at the umbilicus. First, retroperitoneal dissection was performed using a medial approach, and the root of the inferior mesenteric artery was divided. Next, lateral dissection was performed and the sigmoid colon was divided using a linear stapler, leaving a sufficient proximal margin. The left ureter was isolated and the proximal part of the left gonadal vessel was divided. The same procedure was then carried out on the right side. The peritoneum overlying the bladder was incised and the round ligament of the uterus and medial umbilical ligament were divided. The distal part of the ureter was mobilized. The rectum was divided using a linear stapler with sufficient distal margin after division of the mesorectum. The retzia space and the paravesical space were sharply dissected. The ureter was divided at the level near the ureterovesical junction bilaterally. The lower midline incision of 7 cm for specimen retrieval, was made at this time, and ureteral catheters were placed in the proximal ureter bilaterally and pulled out through the side ports. Pneumoperitoneum was maintained using a wound protector and a surgical glove. The lateral pelvic area was dissected for division of the vascular pedicle. The root of the left umbilical artery was isolated and divided. The root of the uterine artery was divided as were the inferior vesicle vessels. The dissection was carried out to the level of the levator ani muscle. The retzia space was dissected and the urethra was exposed. The urethra was isolated from the vagina and sutured proximally and distally. After suturing, the urethra was incised. The anterior wall of the vagina was incised and opened just dorsal to the urethra. Next, the posterior wall of the vagina was incised and opened at the rectouterine pouch. The right wall of the vagina was incised from the anterior posterior opening and the vaginal veins were sutured and clipped before incision. The left side of the vagina was incised in a similar fashion. The overview after the resection shows that the vagina was sutured directly from the lower abdominal incision. A colorectal anastomosis was intracorporeally performed using the double stapling technique after splenic flexure mobilization. 
an ileal conduit was constructed extracorporeally through the lower abdominal incision. The total operative time was 12 hours 20 minutes with an estimated blood loss of 540 milliliters. There were no intraoperative complications. Postoperative paralytic ileus developed but resolved with conservative therapy. Microscopically, the tumor was moderately differentiated, adenocarcinoma invading the uterus and bladder, but the resection margin was negative. Of 17 resected lymph nodes, there were no lymph node metastases. In conclusion, laparoscopic anterior pelvic exenteration for sigmoid colon cancer can be performed safely in selected female patients under good visualization.